Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel separating data into separate columns. Brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. Okay, in this video tutorial we're going to be talking about two separate formulas to use with functions. Uh, my goal in this example here is to take this column of information right here and I want to separate the data out of here. I want to chop it up, but I want to maintain this column of information for office location. So what I'd like to do is for the extension column, I want to be able to take out that last four extension from each of these uh, entries. And I want them to uh, populate here in this column. And then next to that, in the building column, I want to cut out the name of the building like lab, central, HQ and so on and I want that to populate here by itself and separately while maintaining this column of information. Alright so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to uh, cell H4 here and I'm going to start my formula like any other formula with an equal sign. From here I'm going to tell Excel to look at the right hand side of G4. So I'm going to type right and there's my function. I'm going to press tab. Then I want to identify the cell that I'm referencing, which is G4. And then I want to separate that. And I'm going to tell Excel the number of characters on the right hand side of that cell that I want to appear here. And in this case, it's going to be four. If I count this, it's going to be one, two, three, four, those last four characters. So I'm going to type four and then close it off and then press enter. There it is. That's pretty exciting, huh? To be able to cut that out and have that there. Excel really is pretty great. So now I'm going to go to cell I4 and I want to cut that first name out of there. Now this is going to be different than the last formula. The last formula we could simply say look at this cell and I want to cut the last four digits and as I look at this the last four digits uh, appear in every entry here. Now in this case the name of the building is different for each cell. In this case there's three letters in this case there's what is that seven letters and so on so it's not going to be quite as easy so I need to put in here a nested formula in this next one and the way that's going to start is going to be equal sign like any other formula and then I'm going to tell Excel to look at the left hand side of G4. So I'm going to type in the function left. There it is. I'm going to tell it to look at cell G4. And then I'm going to separate that with a comma. And now I want to put in a nested function in here where I'm going to do a length. Okay, so I'm going to do LEN. There it is, and I'll press tab. Okay. And now in this nested formula, I want to say the length of G4. So I need to do G4, then close that off with the parentheses. So I'm looking at G4. And then I want to subtract the last eight characters, because that's what's continuous. I'm sorry, consistent throughout all this information. The last eight characters is what I want to omit. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, see the the blank space and the dash are included in character length. So I'll put minus 8. Close that off. There it is. That's pretty easy, huh? Now let's take a look at what that looks like. If I select both of these and I double click my fill handle here, fills it all the way down. Excel can be very powerful and very exciting. It makes our lives easy as long as we know how to use it and tell it what to do. There's additional uh, uh, separation of data functions and formulas we can use but this one covers this tutorial i hope that was helpful and thanks for joining me